first aid, first, I can't get the first aid kit. Oh my God, he's bleeding out. Oh my God, first aid, first aid. Uh, he's probably dead now. I don't want to look. The floor's just full of it. Always look before you drop the lift, people. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tabers. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. And Tabers, custom cars and trucks. Hey, look, the cars are done. Woo! All right. So let's talk about how much we made. <laughs> You'll notice my balance up there. I've been doing a good bit of um, <clears throat> call in jobs. It's been kind of interesting because I've been juggling the GT. I'll put it in the paint shop and then I'll work on the car. And then, of course, that car usually needs to go in the paint shop, so then I have to go into the G into the paint shop, put the GT out here, put the car that's here into there, and then I put the GT here, and then then uh, it's it's difficult. All right, let's talk about what we got here. So the GT twenty we paid fifteen thousand seven hundred and sixty five to buy that at auction. Uh, I'm just looking for my numbers here. Uh, I spent thirteen thousand four hundred and twenty five dollars to restore it, so it's twenty nine thousand one. Hundred and ninety dollars is how much we put into that car. Now this one over here, the custom, we bought it at auction for twelve eight five seven, and we put in twelve one ninety eight. So we almost doubled on both of these. Uh, so a total cost of twenty five thousand and seventy three. And it is now time to sell both of these. So let's uh, sixty four. Where am I? There it is. 64607 is what we're going to sell this thing for. So 64607 minus the 29190. We're making $35,417 on the GT20. Bye bye. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. All right, so the custom here. Good old custom. We are going to sell this thing for, wow, 62041. And we pay, we spent twenty five oh seven three on it. We're making thirty six thousand nine hundred and sixty eight dollars. That's actually pretty impressive. Boop. Yes. Woo! -hoo! So he just ba basically made sixty grand selling those two cars. So we have two hundred seventy eight thousand. You know what that means? Woo! To the auction! All right, we're here. We got six cars, seven cars sold today. Remember, we're looking for a Tempest Magnum, a Salem Flame, a Salem Spectra. The M6 and M8 would be good. Uh, I don't want to go crazy because remember, we're not going to sell, resell these cars. Um, three stars. Um, let's go with 25. We'll, we'll run this up to 25, at which point we're out. Or we'll get it, one or the other. Doesn't look like it. It's going up too fast. Yeah. Uh, just, just do it. Just do it. Just push this guy. All right. Our 30 is our out price now. <laughs> oh, we're out. Castor Earthquake Rex. Starting bid is 26185 Yeah, not even going to touch it. I like I like the the toned the two tone finish though. A Delray Imperator. We already have one. Uh, fifteen oh four seven. I mean, it's a flippable car, but uh, it's probably gonna run up into the thirty thousand range. Um, if we can get it for less than thirty, we'll do it. I bet you it's gonna run right up into thirty really fast. Well, maybe not. I mean, I, I could easily flip this. This would land us a, probably another 30000 or so. That's the last bid we're going to give. Nope, we're done. A Salem Kiera. Kieran. Kieran? Yeah. 4005 This is a flippable car. Um, you know what? If we can get it for under twelve, maybe. Because if we can get it for under 12, then it's flippable and we could make some money on it. Oh, yeah, we got it. Where's my pen? I don't, where is my pen? I don't even know. Pen, where are... Ah, here's a pen. And now I need a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. So the Salem... 
Salem. We bought for, what did we buy for? 11, 11505. All right, so that's our flip car. We're not going to buy any more flip cars uh, to the garage with you. A Bullthorn, Grand Mojave. No, I need a Salem Flamo, a Tempest Magnum, or a Salem Spectra, or an M6 or an M8. Jeez. Uh, we're just going to skip this guy. Reno Piccolo. <laughs> no, just no. Another Salem Kiera. Well, we're done. We're gonna we're gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna go over to another auction. So hold on, we're gonna hop in the truck. Oh, I'll go grab the truck. Go to another auction. Now we drove for several mile, several hours to get here. So we need to come out here with two cars. A Royal Bianco. Four nine six nine. Ooh, there's seven cars today. You know, we're, it's tempting because it's a good looking little car. We could even throw it. You know what? Let's let's take it. If I can get it for, I don't know what I'm going to go for. Twelve ish. Because it could it could go into our collection. <laughs> twelve ish. That's twelve ish. All right. Uh, Bianco. The Bianco, we paid 12969 I don't know why I'm writing this down, because I'm going to keep this car, but there you go. 12969 To the garage with you. I'm a look. Yeah, no, I'm not coming all the way out here for I'm a look. 580 bucks. Good Lord. Nope. Caster Earthquake, 11192 No, I'm running an Earthquake Rex, and I drove it out here, so why would I want an Earthquake? Other than, you know, it'd be perfect, but I don't want it. Another mal seriously, another Maluk. Another oh, this one's five dollars better. Ooh, big time in it. No, I don't want it. <laughs> no, no, I don't want it. This one's seven hundred and ninety-nine, really? And it's one star. The other one was five eighty five for a two yeah, that's weird. A Delray Custom! No, I don't need another flip car. I've got my one flip car, the Kiera. Which probably is a bad flip car when you think about it, but Kieran, Kiar, whatever. Don't want the custom. A Katagiri Katsumoto. No. Oh, man. There's only one car left. Oh, if I've come all this way and I come walking out with nothing. Should we maybe grab this one? Nope. <laughs> no, we're not going to grab that one. Bye, car. Oh, not another Sakura GT40. GT20, GT40. Where did I come with GT40 from? Um, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not, no. I, I. It's good money. I don't need the money. I have 250. Now, we're, we're going to try to find another auction on the way back. I mean, I'll go a couple lot more hours out of my way, but this is ridiculous. So we came back to the shop. I was just on my way through town because I found another auction. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in the left lifter. Um, and as I was coming through, I, I was like, you know what? I need to check. I need to check my parking situation so I can buy this parking. What is that? 50 grand? Yeah, let's buy that. All right. So that gives us plenty of room for parking. Cause what I'm thinking is we're going to keep that one. Cause I like the look of it. This one, we're definitely going to flip. What is it worth right now? We paid 11 for it. It's worth eight. So that's fine. We paid, what did we pay for this? 12 for this thing. It's worth nine, but it's not, eh, it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, well, um, so we're going to grab the, um, the, this, this other auction is, is down a ways, but we're going to, we, we've been driving the earthquake wrecks. I think it's a bad luck charm for us. So we're going to drive the Salem Spectra fast back to this next auction. And hopefully that'll be our good luck charm to get what we need. Oh my God. It starts with the Reno, but this is a big show. There's 11 cars and it starts with the Reno Piccolo. I mean, if, if this hour we're starting, it's not going to be great, but. Yeah, whatever. Move on. A Mayan M8. Okay, okay. We need a Mayan M8. I mean, we don't need one, but we want a Mayan M8. So it's 14.3. I'm willing to go. Let's just go whole hog. Let's just get it. Right? I can put it in a garage and we can get around to it when we get around to it. So we're, we're, we're going to go for it. I said I wasn't going to buy more than three at any auctions, but screw it. We're going. We're going to get the M8. We won't feel bad about it. We will probably feel bad about it, but we're not going to, we're going to try not to feel bad about it. Get off my Mayan M8. Boys, I got 200 grand in my pocket. You ain't going to get it off me. They're going to push me up to 40 grand on this thing, aren't they? Oof. 
They are. They're going to push me to 40 grand on this thing. My goodness. All right. Go oh, get off it, guys. Jeez, 43, 44 grand on this car. It needs work. It needs a door. Get off it. <laughs> it's going to be a 50 grand buy. I bought a garage for less than this. Thank you. <laughs> 52, three. Good Lord. Hold on. Let me write that down. M8. 52,300. I think I way overpaid for that, but um, we're actually going to send it to the parking for now. Ah, it needs a headlight, too. I just noticed that. Oh, and they get, bring out an M6 right afterward. Oh, this is they, we hit the jackpot today, people. We're taking this M6 home with us. And, of course, I brought the Spectra, so I don't... I have to, I have to get a tow truck. I got... Ah. I gotta have, gotta call the guys at the shop, get them to put the, the uh, gooseneck on the truck and come out here and get these cars. Guys, don't push me again. I'm just gonna buy it. You just walk away. There's gotta be a multiple involved in the state and the high and the, the level of bid that the computer is willing to allow. All right, we got the M6. Woo, this is a good show. This is a good show. M6, 24993. All right, to parking with you as well. All right, all right, all right. Feeling good. A Royale Crown. No. I mean, it would be a flip car. I don't need a flip car. Ooh, but I could take some of the parts out for the other cars. Ooh, do, 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 do. I don't really want to, but, uh, you know what? No, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. A Delray Imperator. No, I, I mean, ooh, this is another one. I could take the engine. Any engine components out of this can be used in the M8. That would save me serious money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it's going to go up to 50 grand probably. Um, no, let's walk on this one. Another Mayan M8 for less money. Ooh, 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 let's bid on this one here. Here's my idea here. If I can get this one for substantially less, then we'll flip it. I don't really need another flip car, but I can also take the parts out of this thing and use it in our car. So whichever car we buy the fewer parts for. But if this price goes up too high... I'm starting to think I seriously overpaid for that other one. <laughs> Maybe not. Because it looks like there's a couple bidders still in the game here. We're clearing 30 grand. Oh. Alright. I don't want to go above 40 grand right now. So I think if this clears 40, we're going to let them have it. Oh, I thought we were going to get it. Okay, we're at 40. Alright, that's the end of our bid. Ah, another Royale crown. Great. There's five more cars. We really need a Salem Flamo, a Salem Spectre, or a Tempest Magnum. Come on. We don't want another crown. Ooh, Bolt Reptilia. Bolt Reptilia. 3515. Ooh, 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 ooh. Flip car. Flip car alert. Flip car alert. Let's do it. I'm thinking in... I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like nine, about 12. Let's go with 12. It's not going to go for 12. Uh, 15, maybe. Are we willing to push to 20? <gasps> oh, we got it for 14. Wow. Reptilia. <laughs> I have to sound it out like a gibbon. 14, 5, 1, 5. 14, 5, 1, 5. That is a flip car. That's going to the garage. Ooh, I'm going to have to call the guys and get a semi to haul this stuff. Earthquake Rex. Nope, 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 nope. We got three more cars after this, so we'll just skip this guy completely. Delray Custom. That's a flippable, but we we really don't need any more flip cars. We've got two. We don't need another one, so we'll just we'll just chill on this one. A GT20. Oh, for only twenty-seven eighty-one. Oh, it's so flippable, but we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna. Nope, nope. We're not gonna do it. Oh, and a Bianco to finish it off. 
All right. I've called the guys. They're bringing the truck. We're going to jump in the Flamo. We're going to head. Or Flamo? No, the Salem Fastback. We're going to head back. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So they brought in the bolt. The other stuff is in the garage. Oh, okay. So this is flip. That's flip. That we're going to keep. The engines are, I believe, close enough that we should be able to get away with a little bit of, of body part thievery. That's good. So this one, we're just going to flip it and take the money and run because that's the best thing we can do with that one. This one is ours, so we're going to custom it, including, you know, new uh, new paint because this green is kind of weird. Um, whatever else we need. New wheels, pretty much. Anything. I ah, might as well, since I'm doing body panels, I might as well take the body panels off of this guy. And there. Wow. Oop, there we go. Is that all the body panels? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, body panel repair time. I broke a couple things. There. I don't know what I broke. What did I break? Uh, the Kira front bumper and the trunk. And both the Bianco tail lights, which is fine because they're going to be replaced anyway. Okay. So, your headlight, your fender is still around. Did you have this fender? You did. Oh, wow. Did not realize I had that fender. Did I have that? No. Woo. Do I have a... I do have a tail light. <laughs> this car had a lot of pieces that I didn't really realize it uh, really actually had. That's cool. Door. No door. Okay. All right. Uh, we broke both the tail lights. No door. No door. Good grief. What did we what did we buy again? <laughs> we bought a skeleton car. That's what we bought. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, over here we should have headlight. We didn't get a front bumper, that's fine. Door, that's good. Tail light, rear bumper. Did we get this other door? We did. Ah, there we go. Looking better. Okay. Uh, all right. So if we tear this guy down and we tear this one down completely, I think we'll find parts that we can reuse back into this car. So that's that's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna aim, we're gonna aim to do that because the more parts I can reuse in the car that we're going to keep, the better I feel. Um, sort of. I mean, I don't really want to uh, want to spend a bunch of money, but, you know, what do you, you got to do what you got to do, right? Especially when you're, uh, when the auctions are not turning well. I don't know. I, I haven't seen a Magnum or a, or a Salem Flamo in a while. Hopefully they're not, like, like super rare now that my level is high enough. That that would be disappointing if it was level based. It should just be random number generated. I would think. Get that out. So this little guy. Um I would actually think that I would put all the parts into this one, because I'm selling it. Eh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see what we're going to do. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep the cars separate. Let's just do that. Let's keep them separate. It just makes more financial sense. Um, it doesn't really make any difference, honestly. What it is is just easier on me to know how much money did I put into these cars. And that's there. So we've, we've gotten our extras like our our bonus cars which is the m6 and the m8 we haven't gotten the three cars that are our we really want them cars and that's kind of annoying but there you go because we really want that tempest magnum the salem flamo and the salem spectra i would expect to see a spectra relatively you know not 
constantly, but I expect to see Spectres more often than, like, Maluks and freaking Customs, because I'm done with those Customs. It's like... I mean, they're good cars to flip, no doubt about that, but great googly moogly. Can only deal with so many of them. I completely forgot to pull that uh, starter, so I'm going to have to put the car down to get the starter out in order to pull the uh, gearbox off. That's, that's always nice. Can I get you? No, not really. Okay... That's something that I forget about the, um, oh, sorry. I take that off first. Um, I forget about the, um, four banger cars. You have to pull the starter off before you, um, uh, before you do the, before you put it up on the lift. That's what I'm trying to say. Oops. Take that off, then that off. Doesn't make any sense to me that you have to do it that way, but that's all right, whatever. And then we just hope, beyond hope, that we can um, repair a large number of these pieces. Drop that. Yeah, but I really want that. Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> just took a little bit of work. There, and get this off. Pull those bits off, okay. And we're going to go ahead and pull the oil pan. Because then we have to go up top anyway to get the um, pistons out. So it just sort of works. There we go. Nice. This wouldn't be a terrible little car, except for it's, you know, boring. I mean, the the... The other one, the, the Bianchi one there, Bianco or whatever it is, the, the Volkswagen Golf over there. Um, it looks pretty boring, but I mean, those cars are actually pretty fun, relatively. I mean, relative to this thing, whatever it is. Okay, come on, there we go. Out, out, out. All right, that's all that. So then uh, this thing has a, does this thing have a live? Okay, it has this the solid axle. Okay, good. I like the solid axle ones. They're easier than the ones that are have all the fiddly bits on them, which I know that that other car has, but it's all right. Fiddly bits are, you know, they're useful for fiddly things. Out. Out, 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 and out. And there we go. Look at this. We're almost done already. Get this car all tearing apart. Tearing apart? Tearing up. Tear, torn apart. Good grief. Words. Get it torn apart. Get it. Get the stuff repaired. Buy the stuff we need to buy. And maybe even look at putting it together. Maybe we can do that all in a single uh, single time, along with buying all those cars. Man, that would be a one heck of an episode to do all that at once. Boop, down you go. Ah. And out. Perfect. All right, let's see what we can repair. Lots of broken stuff, I'm sure. Yep, there goes a knuckle. Some description. That was a clip up. Oh, that was a clutch. Wow. Up oh, there went something. I don't. I didn't even see what it was. Do do do. What are we gonna? What are we gonna destroy? What are we gonna destroy? That I. Rem I'm just hoping that we don't destroy like big important things. I've noticed that the um, <clears throat> the engine the engine um, block wasn't in that list. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. All right, by name. All right, time. 
I don't really like that pen. I want something other than that pen. Move, you stupid thing. Give me my pencil. Because I can't find my good pen. All right. We need the ABS pump and an air filter and a battery and a belt tensioner. Okay. Yes, yes. ABS pump, air filter, battery, belt tensioner. Car parts. Uh, wow. <laughs> Let's start out with the expensive stuff. Nine fifty for that. Awesome. Eleven dollars for that. Cool. Uh, Two oh five for this. Cool. All right. And then we need two calipers. Two calipers, two ventilated brake discs, and two standard brake discs, and four pads. All right, so two calipers is one fifty. Uh, two fifty, three fifty. Uh, four ninety. Uh, five six fifty. So that's 650 bucks for brakes. Yay! 650 bucks for brakes. Yeah. Brakes are expensive. Brakes are expensive even when you're, you know, in real life. Brakes are expensive. Just saying. Oh, look, we killed a brake servo. Nice. So brake servo, a cam gear i4 SOC, and one, two, three, four, five camshaft gaps. Cool. All right, so brake servo is 270 that's three, that's 400 bucks for that. And we need camshaft cap times five, right? Yeah, so that's 175. 175, uh, three, 375. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five, and that. Okay, we need two clip A's, a clutch plate, a pressure plate, and the bearing cap. Okay. Two clip A's, that's 18 bucks. <laughs> uh, that's 108 bucks. That's $196. That's... $231, that's $681, all right. Anybody who's keeping tabs, I am doing that in my head, by the way. <laughs> so that that's why I have to pause every once in a while because I have to act, I'm actually doing that addition in my head. Camshaft I4, two bearing caps, a pulley, and an engine block. I don't know if I'll be able to do all that in my head, but we'll find out. Uh, let's see, that's 110, uh, two of these, right? Yeah, so that's 86, 196. And 196, uh, that's 2, 306. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with 306 on that one. <laughs> All right, 306 on that. All right, so we need engine block I-4, flywheel, front exhaust section, and that stuff. Okay. Uh, engine block I-4, that's $1,600. Yeah, 1600 whole dollars. Ugh, 1600 um, 2100, 2145. Let's just go with that. <laughs> 2145. Ow. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Oh, man. All right, so we need the standard front shock assembly. All right. Standard front shock assembly. That's 
200, 3, 4, 40. Um, 4, 40, 5, 60, 5, 70. Thank you. Yes, 570. And then I need this. That's uh, 690. 690? I hope so. <laughs> Urgh, we're going to say 690. Okay, 690 on that. All right, front sway bar, front wheel hub, and fuel filter and fuel tank. Front sway bar, that's 110, that's 220, that's 250, that's 550. Great. That's 550. Wow, that's wonderful. 550 for that. Yay. <laughs> 550. We haven't bought many cheap things. It's kind of annoying. All right. Idle roller, ignition coil, ignition wires, inner tie rod, and a U bolt and a lower suspension arm. I'm not going to remember all that, but we'll try. Uh, 20. That's 85. Uh, 85. Uh, that's 90. 140, 170, that's 200, 215, uh, well, do I need this? 215, yeah, so 365, 390. I need this, don't I? Yeah, three ninety uh, for five hundred dollars. There we go. I hope that's right. <laughs> five hundred dollars. That. Okay, that's five hundred dollars. Fun times. Okay, um, two of those pistons, power steering pump. And rear knuckle housing C, if I can remember it. Uh, that's uh, 300 times 4. That's $1,200. So that's 1200 1242 uh, $1,357. $1,357. I don't remember which one of these. So $1,357. Yuck. There, 1357. Jeez, at this price, I should have just bought a crate engine. Good Lord. Uh, see that two Bs and two of those. Okay. Let's see if I can remember that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was 80 bucks. Uh, so 230, 230 plus 160 is 390, um, 65 is, so what we got, 390, um, plus 260, 390, that's 5, 650, yes. It should be about 650. Some of you are like running the numbers and going, nope, you're wrong. Yeah, well, happens, especially when you're doing it in your head. Okay. Um, good Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six rubber bushings. Six rubber bushings. An eye be uh, belt, <laughs> serpentine belt, I4 sock, and uh, serpentine belt. Eh? There we go. Uh, 60, that's 90. It's $90. Um, it's 120, 145. Uh, that's 280, 
290. Yep, 290. Uh, 290, that's 314. Yep, 314. Okay, 314. Write that down. 314. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, look, we're almost done. Spring cap, starter, front sway links, uh, I4 sock, and the cover. Okay. Whew, we're almost done with the silliness. Um, starter is, okay. Uh, 125. Uh, 58, 125, 171, 83, 183, 2, 1, 8, 218, yeah, <laughs> sorry, 218, um, 270, I think that's it. Is that right? 283? Yeah, that's what it's going to be now. 283. Uh, that and that. So 283. Ah, crap. 283 and two wheel hubcaps. Cool. Two wheel hubcaps. Oh, look, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. All right, that should be all that. Now, I need a Rim Classic 13. A Rim Classic 13. That's 150 bucks. Okay. Make that go away. Um, all right, so body kit wise, I have a Bianco left door. Why do I have a Bianco left door? I don't know, but I do. How about that? There. Uh, what do we need on this car? We need a rear bumper, a left tail light, and a trunk. It's to Kieran. So, body parts. Kieran. All right. We need the left tail light. That's a hundred. <clears throat> that's two. That's four fifty. Go ahead and put that stuff on. That's four fifty for that stuff. Okay. Uh, we need the left rear door, the hood, and the right front door, and the front thingamajiggy. All right. Left rear door. That's four hundred. Um, that's 800, that's 1050, that's $1,400. Okay. I think that's everything we need. Let's check. Yep, how do you say? All right, so that's $1,400 more. Woo, yeah, that's, that's expensive. Whoo, boy, all right. Um, Good grief. Do we want to even total this up right now? How much did I just spend on this mess? Good God, that's a lot of money. All right. <clears throat> let me... Um, well, let's, let's kind of put this car together as much as we can anyway. Uh, fuel filter. I mean, we can put it all together technically. Let's see how fast we can do it now that we have all the parts and we don't really have to worry about, um, are we missing anything? Get on there. There we go. And then we'll find out how much this car is worth when it's all put together, because I don't know how much it's worth. I hope it's worth a lot of money, given that we just, oops, just spent an absolute load of cash on new parts for this car. I wish there was a way to um, to order in, you know, 
being able to say, hey, replace all the parts of this level or below. That would be really a great feature, I think. But that's just me. Maybe some people are like, no, that's a terrible thought. But I think it's a good thought. And that's just my idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on. There we go. That. That. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. We repaired the steering rack. I am totally happy with that, actually. The thought that we got the steering rack repaired. Oop. Got to actually put that on there. I'll put the catalytic converter on as we're wandering by. Oop, there we go. Come on, there you go. Tire goes on. Woo! -hoo. Now, what do we buy? What do we pay for this car? Eleven. Yeah, eleven five oh five. Okay. I'm checking because I'm sort of of the mind of I'm going to probably here in a minute check how much the car is worth based on how much we've put in it so far, which. I mean, isn't a lot, mind you, because we're a ways away from finishing the car. But if we can already get an idea of the car's value, that would be a huge bonus to us, I think. I think. You might think otherwise. Basically just going to put the front end of the car together and then check value of the car... And then we'll uh, then we'll make a decision. <laughs> we might have screwed up. I don't think we have though. I don't. It doesn't feel like this game um, actually lets you overbid to the point that you can't make at least a little bit of cash. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe that that Mayan M8 that I spent fifty grand on is an example of overbid. But I don't think so. Is that that? Yeah, that's that. Okay. Bring this guy down. The entire front end is almost assembled. Woo! Look at us. All right, we're going to put together the most expensive part of this car, which is the engine, of course. And then we'll... Uh, come on. No, there. Starter in. Oh, did I not sell that extra starter? I guess I didn't. <laughs> it's odd. I would have thought I would have done that, but I guess not. All right, that goes in. Because if we can assemble this and then the car is worth like, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I haven't added up how much we spent, so I'm not really sure I can really say. Somebody's already added up how much we've spent and is like, yeah, you're totally doing a bad job or whatever. I mean, the big, the big dollar items were the engine block and the... Um, pistons, and that's about normal, actually. Engine block and pistons are usually the absolute worst. It's always painful to buy the uh, pistons for the big V8s. It's like, oh, man, I don't want to spend that money. But there's really no, there's no options. I mean, other than maybe, well, even then. I say other than maybe just um, buying a bunch of cars and then taking the best pistons off of each but even then you're not going to get 100 percent you basically have to you're required basically to buy the pistons so you always have to budget for the cost of pistons can't see what i'm doing and there that's on that's on that's on okay that should be the engine basically fit and done put the oil pan on and then we can say the engine is done other than putting obviously oil in the car so then we can see there we go how much is the car worth oh it's already worth 27 oh <gasps> wow that's i'm i'm totally shocked and totally happy by this um that that's amazing i was not expecting it to be worth that much quite so fast I'm, I'm happy now. I was worried. I'm now happy. Cool. 27 grand, and we're not even close to finishing the car. Well, we are close, but... 
All right, rear shock on. Come on, no, just go on. Thank you. Put that on. And... All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I will restore the... Um, the Bolt Reptilia, because we've done that kind of stuff on screen before. So I will repair the Bolt Reptilia off screen. I won't sell it. I'll, I will sell it when we're on screen. The Bianco, we will do next time. I'll strip it down and um, I'll strip it, repair it, and buy the parts. How about that? And then um, when we're on screen next time, then we can finish the Bianco up. And then once we have the Bianco finished, then we can pull the M. Do we want to pull the M6 out now? Or do we maybe want to, you know what I might do is I might go to an auction after that because we have the M6 and M8. We can go to an auction after that and decide you know, based on what we find at the auction, because if we only find, like, no cars or, you know, one car or whatever, we can easily say, okay, it doesn't matter because we have the M6 and the M8 to work on. So that's, I think, what we'll do. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, I think you're 100%. You are. Let's get you down, put some oil in you, and sell you. I just saw the price. All right, math time. Put oil in the car first, you idiot. Okay. Oil in the car. Dink. Okay, let's find out how much money. Where's my calculator? There it is. Okay, how much did we spend? Let's see here. Uh, 950. I'm going to pause this. I'll come back as soon as I have this total. How about that? Okay, so we spent $12,087 restoring this car. We bought the car for 11505. Wow, we spent more than we spent more on parts than we did. <laughs> All right, what are we selling this car for? We're selling this car for 44113. We're going to make $20,521 right now. Woo! Yeah! Doggy! Yeah! We did it. All right, let's move you Boop, to the right lifter. There we go. All right, so I'm going to strip this car down, repair it, restore it, keep my numbers, and I will tell you guys how much I spent on this thing. Um, <laughs> you know what would be really cool? If I could, if you could put a big blower on this thing and then just leave the hood off. That would be cool. But anyway, um... I will do that, and then I will strip this thing, get all the parts ready, but I won't actually do any of the actual buildup of this car until we're back on screen. And then we'll go to an auction and see if we can pick up our Tempest Magnum, our Salem Flamo, and our Salem Spectre. And if we can't, we have the M6 and M8 in the garage. All right, until next time, remember... Uh, remember something. What do you need to remember? Oh, yeah! That I'm Derek Tevers, that this is Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, and to game on, and be awesome. <laughs>